there's something that we're going to be able to talk about here that you've never discussed publicly before. And, and the sort of setup to that is I know it used to be you had a big deal with AMD and you did all kinds of stuff, which at the time was very groundbreaking for them. Then you did shift over to Intel for, for your massive data center, which I visited. Uh, but you have now gotten into an extremely close partnership with Intel where you are kind of pioneering some things that nobody else is doing. Now tell us a little bit about that. Well, in the field of animation, the holy grail for us has always been uh, the ability to actually work uh, in, in real time. Because of the complexity of the imaging that we're working on, and whether it's an animator or a lighter or any aspect, special effects artist, they actually work in very, very low resolution versions. Uh, and uh, it's almost as though they work blind. Right. So we went into a r and D effort with uh, Intel, uh, which we uh, funded together, um, which today is probably the uh, most extensive and certainly for sure uh, the most expensive r and d effort gone, going on in Hollywood, you know on technology, probably in a decade, if not ever. Uh, many, many, many tens of millions of dollars we have both been investing in this. And what you were able to see at the studio is now the uh, first products to reveal themselves in which we have gone back and uh, rewritten, re-engineered all of our software in order to now be able to get the full uh, uh, throughput. And the result of it is, is that our artists are now able to, as you saw, both animate and actually uh, do their uh, effects work and color work in real time. Now, the implications of this are, are absolutely revolutionary. And trust me when I tell you, what's revolutionary for us today is revolutionary for the rest of the world tomorrow. Any enterprise that uses uh, uh, high-end rendering as any aspect of their business, so it doesn't matter whether you're in you know, the oil business, whether you're in the design business of aircraft or cars or any kind of you know, serious engineering on that, whether it's in uh, medical imaging, the implications of this throughout enterprise are actually breathtaking. And uh, I would say that you know, today the prediction that the desktop is toast, which I would have said to you two years ago, uh, a year ago in it, now when you see the power that's going to be brought to that desktop and what it's going to mean to industry both in productivity uh, and in terms of quality. Because with next gen computing, I would say there's a, probably a good chance that we could actually replicate and animate your shirt. Hmm. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> That shirt is just not possible today. <laughs> is that right? Really, it would be hard to do something like that? No, we could do that. Okay. <laughs> but to take a fire-breathing dragon, send it underwater, and have it shoot fire, I'm not sure we could do that today. But with next gen, we absolutely can. So it does. Uh, here's a way to think about it. Um, you know, Moore's law has uh, really sort of guided, uh, I think, all of us now amazingly for 25 years. You know, that notion of doubling the speed and halving the cost every 18 months or so. Uh, here's what this is. The simplest way to think about it is, is that in the most complicated aspects of our computing and rendering today, uh, this now allows us to operate at 50 to 70x what we are doing. So just think about that, what that would mean across almost any of the businesses that you can think of. And by the way, just on these devices, these smart devices that you know, we're all sitting with here in our rooms, you know, here's the thing we all do today. I promise you, if you think about it, I'm going to give you one word. Uh, I said this to you when we were there, which is, is that you have no idea how much this word occupies every facet of your life every day in extraordinary ways. Waiting. Waiting is what we do a breathtaking amount of. It's hard to imagine how much waiting we actually do in our lives. If you ever sat down and clocked it, it would, it would, the only thing more amazing about that is how much time the football is actually in play in a two and a half hour football game. Does anybody know what that is? 15 minutes. In a, just want you to know if you, wow. Super Bowl, okay? Three and a half hours of programming. 
from the time the ball is hiked till the time the play is called in three and a half hours is 15 minutes of play. Soccer? I don't know. Yeah, he's saying take up soccer. Yes, Soccer's you're right. better, right. Not but quite as much German training. here has this point of view. <laughs> um, but uh, so waiting is a huge part of every single aspect, particularly uh, in, on the business side of it. And this literally is going to revolutionize what it means in terms of waiting.